What is going on, Golf Addicts DB? And the new year is here. It is time for the Century Tournament of Champions at Kapalua, the plantation course. And I'm going to give you everything you need to know and nothing you don't. But I'm also going to show you a brand new tool that you can start using as of January 1st. If you're betting on golf, if you're playing fantasy golf, if you're doing props, if you're doing anything, I've got a new tool for you that I'm going to get into here in a minute that is going to be a must-have in your repertoire. And it is our friends at Bet the Number. This video is presented to you by, empowered by, BetTheNumber.com. God, the golf tool is sweet, and I'm about to share my screen and show it to you. Before I do that, we're going to talk a little bit about what we know about Kapalua. I'm going to share my screen. We're going to watch a little flyover. I'm going to give you some nuggies on the golf course. You're going to love it. While you're here, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, thank you. Be sure and leave a five-star review. That's very helpful for us in the beginning of the year. Tons of new great content coming at you every week. There's a PJ Tour event this year uh, for the Tour Junkies. The Discord's gotten an overhaul. New stuff going on in there. Be sure to check that out. Um, and I'm going to do this every week. I'm going to open up the screen. We're going to talk about the golf course. And then we're going to get into a little first look at the possibly, you know, the, the modeling and some of the key stats and who's popping and what we think. It's a good little appetizer to tee you up before Monday and before, you know, odds start popping up, you know, and you're starting to finalize your lineups. So without further ado, let me share my screen. Let's uh, let's take a little bit of a, a flyover look at Kapalua. And as we do, I'm going to uh, I'm going to give you some some things to know. OK. All right. So Kapalua's plantation course, par 73, around 7600 yards. But listen, tons of undulation on this golf course. It's a core Crenshaw design. We've seen this place. Uh, it's been played here since 1953. I think the plantation course has hosted since 99. It's been here a long time. And it's pretty easy. Most most years on the PJ Tour, it is one of the easier courses. You're going to see that here in just a second. The real defense of the golf course is the wind. Um, other than that, I mean, it's it's slopey. You're going to hear the Augusta comparisons, obviously, due, due to a lot of the slopes and kind of room to operate off the tee and elevation changes and all those things are factors you don't you don't get a lot of flat lies at augusta same here at kapalua um and you know sometimes it can play firm and fast in the wind you know it's you're gonna get the augusta comparison so just know that um you got three par threes only three par threes four par fives three of the par fives are all pretty much reachable for everybody and even the 18th which is over 600 yards can be quite reachable if you catch the slope off the tee we see guys get there every single year it does feature some pretty long holes, but a lot of short holes. There's tons of birdie opportunities here uh, at Kapalua. So you've got uh, seven or eight par fours that are under 430 yards. So there's there's scoring out there to be had. The, the biggest thing is off the fairway, off the tee, the fairways are around 58 to 60 yards, somewhere 59, 60 yards wide. Really wide fairway. Like even I can hit these fairways. Um, it is, it is, you could say this is a pretty, this is second shot golf course. You could say one could say, because everybody's going to bomb it down there. Everybody's going to be hitting from the fairway. We're going to see the data here in a second. And then it's about how close do you hit it? Can you make your putts? All that good stuff. And I'll tell you right now around the green just doesn't matter, but we'll see that more in detail here in a second with the large greens that you have here at Kapalua. Uh, you are going to see some three putts. You're going to have some long putts. You're going to have some lag putting. You're going to have to knock out. Um, so yeah, now I've got two caddy nuggets that, that we've picked up over the years from our caddy friends, uh, about Kapalua that I'm going to share here in just a minute, uh, maybe at the end of the video, but before I get into that, you know, we've, we've had winners here studs, right? A lot of the studs and the best players do tend to play here. So, you know, Speeds one here, JT, Dustin Johnson, Xander, JT's won here twice. Cam Smith set the course record or the tournament record at 34 under in 2022. It's unbelievable. Rom won at 27 under. Um, it's Kapalua. You, you're gonna you're gonna score at Kapalua. We we just we know that the birdies are coming. So that's that gives you a general idea of the golf course. Thanks to the PJ Tour for this awesome flyover video. Uh, that that gives us a good picture of what we're looking at in terms of the topography. I love watching the golf here at Kapalua every single year. It's a lot of fun. We get to do some whale watching. It's beautiful, man. All right, that's enough of that. Now I'm about to open up a brand new tool that nobody's ever seen. This is the first video on the internet where this tool has been seen. And what I can tell you about this tool is that half of the owners of this, of this product, of Bet the Number, half are the same developers 
that have built the tool and are going to continue building the tool. So what you see is not the final product. In fact, this thing will be changing and updating and improving weekly starting now. Bet the number is here to be your one-stop shop for uh, data analysis for uh, not just the PJ Tour, but coming soon, live uh, your majors, um, possibly the DP World Tour down the road, Corn Ferry Tour down the road. It will be your spot to come and figure out where, what number you're going to bet, right? And how you're going to leverage these tools to, uh, to make money handicapping golf, whether it's DFS, betting, props, all the above. It's a fantastic product. We've been heavily involved in its uh, in its construction, and I'm excited to show it to you. So let's uh, let's open it up. All right, I'm going to start with what, what screen should I start with here? I think I'm going to start with the let's let's take a look at past performers. This is what I love to do. I love to look at. Uh, let me let me share it here. That would help. Sharing sharing would help, right? Uh, let's see. Bet the number. Where's my screen? Mm, okay. Um, okay, here it is. There it is. Okay. I like looking at past performers. And and I think, you know, it's an error if you, if you're, you know, if you only look at winners, but let's start with the winners. All right. We got the plantation course here at Kapalua. A lot of great stats here that are going to fill this top box. You've got your, uh, over here, you've got your par, your yardage, your course designers over here. You've got green size and, and, and grass composition for the green, the chipping areas, and the rough. Um, and, of course, you've got these other stats here. I mean, you can see how easy this course is, right? Compared to tour average, these key metrics, 74.7% of fairways hit. Now, I will say this. I am looking at the last five years. I can go all the way down to 2014 here, uh, but I'm looking at the last five years. I've got those checked. I can uncheck that if I want. Uh, but you can see a high fairway percentage, very high green regulation percentage, obviously because you're hitting from the fairway and control your ball easier. But also these greens are large. They're big. Um, Scrambling is about average. Three putt percentage is about average. But you can see, look, a ton more birdies than your tour average, almost a shot and a half more. Uh, a full shot, a full bogey less per round on average here. Those are key things to keep in mind for the props market. Your par three and par four and par five scoring averages all easier than tour average. So for the most part, this shows you right now, unless the wind is kicking, Kapalua is easy. Now, by the way, if you're interested in getting involved in this website as of January 1st, 2024, you're welcome to give it a shot. The There is a um, there's a link in the description of this video. You can go to bethenumbergolf.com and use code TJ at checkout and you will get a discount. That's right. You will get $50 off an annual subscription or $5 off a monthly subscription with that code TJ at checkout when you go to sign up. Um, now, I will say if you're in the Discord, you get a massive discount. You get the biggest discount of any discount available on this website by anybody. Okay, if you're in the TJ Discord and you're a uh, you're a subscriber there. So check that out. But let, let's keep let's keep digging. So you can look at the last five winners here, right? And you can see some past top performers. Don't worry, we're going to get to this sexy stuff down here in the bottom here in just a second. You can see that the the I can filter by winners, top five, top 10, top 20. And for those years I have selected, it's going to show me some basic strokes gain metrics, how they did. And you can see here in, in, uh, in the winners over the last five years, you got to gain strokes off the tee, although it's not, there's not a ton of dark green, right? Like it's, it's, Probably going to do you some good to be a little longer than average here. This we're going to get to that here in a second. Um, the stroke scan approach, and and it you could argue it kind of turns into a putting contest. Like, look at this gaining all these strokes putting because of the high fairway and the high green and reg percentage. There's some variance here, and it can turn into a putting contest. Probably why a guy like Harris English would win here in 2021 over a bunch of studs. You could even or even argue maybe Cam Smith, the way he drives the ball off the tee, wasn't you know isn't all that impressive, but um you can also see like very little green in the strokes gain around the green metric. You just don't need it. Now as we expand out to like top five, top ten, which I like to look at, I like to kind of get a bigger a, a bigger picture of who really did well because just because you finished T four, you could have been one or two shots behind the winner, and that still matters. So I I like to look at the top five or top ten and just get an overall picture. Where's all the green at, right? Again, very little green in the strokes gain around the green column. Now, as we expand and we look at, you know, the top 10 over the last five years, you can definitely see a lot more green in the strokes gained approach category the more I scroll, right? 
So you can, you can kind of notice that there's a lot of dark green in that strokes gained approach, not as much in the strokes gained off the tee situation. Um, there, there's still plenty of lighter green, positive strokes. Um, but I, I do think that approach play, ultimately hitting it close, making your putts is going to be the most predictive. Um, all right, let's, let's look at this, this. I love this section down here. Now we're going to focus on the top two sections for Kapalua because I think they're the most important, but the driver, uh, how important is driver and how many driver holes are there? Well, there's a lot of driver holes at Kapalua. In fact, we argue there's 15 based on bet the numbers back end calculation that uses radar data, uh, launch angles, club head speed, ball speed, smash factor, um, all the shot link radar data going on in the background, which by the way, bet the number is, does get all of the data that the PJ tour collects and shot link collects is licensed from the PJ tour. So all this data is very, uh, trustworthy. It's clean. It's straight from the source. It comes in automatically from the PJ tour. So you can trust it, but we're taking some things here and calculating how many, what percentage of these holes guys are hitting majority driver. There's a lot of drivers here. So nobody's clubbing down. Right. And, and then, Bet the number does this proprietary calculation that I love. And there's more of these stats coming with bet the number that you won't be able to get anywhere else. We're actually calculating what does a what what is bomb opportunity versus a short penalty? Bomb opportunity meaning does the player average 20 yards longer than the average for for that for that field? And if they do, what does that equate to in strokes gained per round? Some courses it's going to be less than or greater than others. At this course, it's pretty significant. 2.17 strokes per round if you are 20 yards longer than the average. So your super bombers can get quite the advantage here. Uh, if you're 10 to 15 yards shorter than the average, this is what you're kind of losing. And this is going to be calculated for every golf course. And then here, the strokes gained shot distribution. I love it because it's so detailed because I can sort it by fairway. I can sort it by rough. Or other, so you know, bunkers, waste areas, whatever. And Kapalua makes it pretty easy. I mean, you, you saw the near eighty percent green regulation uh, rate and the seventy five percent fairway in regulation. Like, you're going to have most of your shots coming from from the fairway. So we can pretty much eliminate the rest of this in terms of what what are we going to try to predict. I mean, this is you know three point seven shots per round coming from the fifty to one twenty five category. Um, you know, 3.9 coming from 126 to 175, so on and so forth. But that's this is a lot of shots coming from these fairway distribution buckets that we can all factor into our model. Uh, down here, we won't talk about it today, but some around the green uh, metrics and some putting distribution stuff. Love this here on Bet the Number. Hopefully, you're enjoying this so far. Um, I know I sure am. But I want to show you the custom model, okay? Let's open up the custom model and just get a peek at uh, what what the what the bet the number folks early on are starting to weigh in for the century. This is the custom model tab. When you get to bet the number, you're going to have the tournament page, the custom model, the course page, which we were just on, and then player pages. But for this video, we're just going to look here at the custom model. You're, we're bringing in DFS salaries. Once the odds drop, you'll be able to add outrights and top five markets from various sports books, and we're adding more and more every single week. Um, and this is this is cool. So what's going to make Bet the Number unique is there's a secret weapon behind Bet the Number. In fact, I, I told you about three of the owners of Bet the Number. Well, there's a, a, another owner in Bet the Number, a founder and an owner and very active member that has basically been doing course analysis, data analysis, shot link analysis, player analysis on the PJ Tour professionally for some of the best players in the world for the last few years. And what they've learned and the input that they will be giving to uh, the bet the number model and algorithm every week is going to be next to it's going to be unparalleled. We've not seen it in the industry before, and it's going to be fantastic. Is it going to be perfect? No, it's golf, right? It's hard, but I think it'll be one of the strongest advantages bet the number has in the market. So early on, this is where the BTN model is landing in terms of these categories here. Now, what I love about the custom model is. Um, you can sort by rankings, which I have it doing now. Raw values, if you're just wanting to see some like the ball speed numbers here, you could check that out. And obviously, BTN scores, which we like to think of as a Madden rating. Um, you can almost even move the decimal point and just say, all right, well, if if uh, if Scotty's a 9.7 here, he's a 97 in Madden rating out of 100. That's kind of how you can think about it. 10 is perfect. 
So that, that's that's how you can look at the BTN scores. And you can it, it's a better way. It's more of a power ranking. Um, so I, I'll sort it here for ranking for simplicity's sake. But you've got a model score, a model rank over here that I can sort. All of these columns we can sort by. And then this the filtering is incredible. Let's just take a look. So there's a global filter here that's applied to the entire model. 24 rounds is what it's going to look at unless BTN or you as the model maker tells it to do otherwise, which uh, BTN has done here in this first metric. Strokes gain off the tee per round versus the field has a 15% weight. He's It's been labeled. And that one's looking back to the last 30 rounds. So going a little further there, same thing here with approach to the green. Um, same thing here with around the green, last 24 there, though that's a global filter. Uh, we got putting, ball speed, driving accuracy percentage. All those are going up to the global filter of 24 rounds. Now, this, this gets fun because not a lot of places have this. Strokes gained approach per shot versus that baseline, and you can literally customize the yardage here between 60 and 140 yards, and then here's another one between 175 and 275. If you notice, you really don't have a ton of shots in the middle of the bag here at Kapalua. It's a lot of wedges and short irons, and then it's a lot of longer irons. And then you can even decide, do you want it from the tee, from the fairway, from the rough, from the bunker? You can filter by course, by architect, by grass type, by green size. It is fantastic. The filtering is incredible here um, on Bet the Number. So I think you're going to love playing around with that. And then here we've got some putting per, per shot, per baseline as well. So that's the early filter, uh, the, the early filters that BTN has thrown up. But you can make your own. You can save all your models over here on the left. Super easy to do. Uh, I love this site. So I know I'm going over 15 minutes here, but there's a lot to unpack and there's new stuff. So I'm trying to get it as best I can. But before I get out of here, let's just take a look at a couple of the higher ranking folks. So Rory's your number one in the model. Let's just sort by model rank. Rory's number one. Ludwig. 8,700, Ludwig is number two. Scotty Scheffler, three. Xander, four. Russell Henley, five. And Russell, you know, pretty, he's one of the, he's, he stands out, right? Because in, in this ranking, he's one of those guys with not a lot of ball speed, doesn't hit it super far, but makes up for it in a lot of other ways. Uh, he's the most accurate driver of the ball based on the filtering. Really good approach numbers, good putting as well um, in terms of uh, the, the stats picked here versus baseline. Around the green is good. So, I mean, Russell Henley is, is an interesting name here. I think Russell's going to have a good year. I really do. Svensson seems like a hell of a value at $6,600, given uh, his number six model ranking. And the same, this is where these power rankings kind of come into play because of the BTN scores. Because, you know, 9.7 for Scotty, he's your fourth-ranked guy. Um, but, you know, Svensson's 6,600. He's a 9.5. That's, that's, that's crazy. Um, he's got the same power rating as Hovland. That's a really good value for Svensson if you're buying the model. Now, I, I, I think I remember Svensson played like trash here last year. If I click his name, it'll pull that up. Yes, he finished 37th, probably out of 37. And it, it looked like to me, because I remember watching this, it looked like he just showed up rusty as all get out. He had won the RSM the fall before, probably took a nice long break after the RSM, and it was bad. Now, he did have a pretty good fall. Who knows what version of Adam Svensson we have, but we know that when Adam Svensson is playing the way he has, has you know, played in 2023, he's probably a good fit here. Um, that'll be an interesting one. Let, let's go, let's scroll to the bottom and see who sucks. Um, but that's also kind of expensive. Kirk Kitayama, yikes, 7,400. He's way down there. Uh, Jordan Spieth, $8,800 Jordan Spieth. Pretty poor rating here based on the model. Fowler, 8,600 would be a tough one. Um, yeah, so this is just kind of an early look at what the model is telling us. I'm interested to see Ludwig, man. When's the last time Rory played here? Rory played here in 2019, finished T4. It does feel like this, this place is perfect for Rory. Oh, I told you I was going to give you a couple of caddy nuggets. Well, uh, let, me, let, me, let me hit you with those. So one of the things we've heard over the years is a couple of caddies said experience can really matter here uh, because your understanding of the wind – um, understanding of these lies of some of the slopes that you have to use to your advantage to attack certain pins. And then one of them said they have to understand how aggressive to be because too many first timers don't start out aggressive enough. And with a winning score, possibly getting to 30 under, like you better come out firing, bub, 
you got to get your birdies. And so that was, that's been kind of a thing. Um, and then the last nugget I'll give you comes from, uh, comes from the BTN secret weapon. And uh, it is this, that, you know, a draw cut or straight ball flight doesn't really matter for the most part here at Kapalua. But the two hardest holes on the golf course are number four and number 13. And because of the way those fairways slope, it has been told to us that someone who would hit a cut off the tee could be at a slight advantage on those holes because they can hit the cut into the slope, which helps them hold the fairway, helps them catch a certain slope, helps them have a better approach shot into those greens. And if they can do that, then they can get by with making no bogeys on those holes, which is an advantage on the field, or possibly even having a birdie or two on the week uh, for those those holes, which they will put, you know, that's eight of their 72 two holes, right? Um, with no cut, you know, they're, they're going to play each of those holes four times. So eight of their 72 holes are going to be impacted by those those shots in particular. So a guy like Colin Morikawa last year who could hit a cut off the tee into those slopes, even if he's a little shorter, can be at, can be an advantage there. So uh, something that can help work in your favor if you, uh, you want to, you know, favor a little cut bias. So, yeah, that's that. Um, all right, I think that's it for me. I went 20 minutes. That's too long. I don't want to go that long every week, but – had a lot to get out. Check out Bet the Number. Use code TJ at checkout. Link is in the description. Can't wait for the pods to drop on Monday, January 1st. It's going to be a great year. Uh, even though the professional golf game is all out of whack, we're still going to do our thing. And money to be made, bets to be won, green screens to be had, bookies to be bent over. Thanks for watching. Click the like button, subscribe. See ya!